here's a little scenario for you. Imagine you're in, you know, C1, right? And you're about to get your ass kicked, you know? Standard stuff. I only have one hand to play this with, so just bear with me for a moment. But then you have to go take a shit. So you have to, so you have to pause and go to the bathroom. But you really don't want to go to the bathroom without the game because you're addicted and you're you have a you have a serious problem. Like seriously seek help. Well, I have a solution. The Superboy. This is the SFC model. Um, it's the latest one. I think maybe like March 2018. So I'm just going to go out into the uh, kitchen and uh, show you how it works. And here is the Superboy. It's, um, it's pretty big, I'd say. Um, I know there's um, some other uh, Super Nintendo portable system that's a bit smaller, just a little bit, but um, I kind of like the, the way this feels in the hands, so um, it's got everything you need, you know. And the thing is, I'm not too fond of the the start and select button being up there. It's something you get used to, but you know, it's just kind of, you know. And you got an NTSC and PAL switch, uh, reset button, uh, power light and the uh, charging port, which is basically just like the same sort of, um, sort of like micro or USB thing that like my phone uses, so it's cool. <laughs> You got on and off, and you got the AV out for you, you know, if you want to plug it into the TV. And on the bottom, we have the headphone jack, volume, and brightness, which also acts as the aspect ratio changer. Uh, because this is a 16 by 9 screen, the first Superboy model had a 4 by 3 screen. But apparently these are cheaper. So... The last model, the Superboy S, not the SFC, but the Superboy S, had um, a little flaw where you couldn't change the aspect ratio. It was just stretched out to fit the screen. And so they fixed that in the Superboy SFC. So that's why I got this version, because it seems to be like the more complete package. Plus it's Super Famicom colors, and I love the Super Famicom. So let's turn it on, and uh, yeah, it works. And it all controls really well. I like the D-pad, it's pretty good. Um, buttons are all good. Um, and you got controller ports uh, for, you know, if you wanna plug it into the TV, like if you say you're on holiday, and uh, you want to play Super Nintendo with a friend, uh, you can do that. Uh, so, there's really nothing that I can really say that's really that bad about this. I mean, it's a Super Nintendo that you can take with you wherever you go. Like, I'm sold on the concept alone. <laughs> like, um, so let me turn that off. Okay, and I actually have, see I got games here, I got games, so Star Fox, right, and I got a European game, Asterix, based on the popular comic. Um, so yeah, I got a game from each region, and I tested them all. Star Fox is, you know... Star Fox, you know, sometimes, um, like, emulators can, you know, kind of fuck up on, on this one. But this is, this is not an emulator, it's, it's, um, a hardware clone. So, I'm gonna pop in Star Fox and give it a go. And everything seems to be fine. It even has the slowdown of the original game, which that's a good sign. 
usually emulators can kind of they can go a little too fast, like it's you know overclocked and stuff. But um, but yeah, and um, I'm gonna pop that out. I'm gonna put in Asterix. Now, I think it will work on the NTC setting, but I'm gonna switch it to PAL because well, 50 hertz. That's what the game runs on. Probably just uh, the game itself. <sighs> there we go. And then, uh, I mean, it's not one of my favorite games, but it, it works. I got it from France, um, an eBay, eBay seller in France. Um, uh, so yeah. I have a way to play this. And I, I like how it has the the um, language options. It's actually pretty good. So yeah, um, just gonna see a little bit how it plays. Yeah. I mean the game's a little sluggish, but I mean that's how the game plays. Um, but yeah, everything seems to work fine. Uh, it's kind of awkward to kind of do it. It's just the controls on this game are, yeah, you push B to jump and A to attack. And then I think you hold Y in order to run. That's really kind of awkward. But, um, yeah, it works. So, yeah, it comes in a little, uh, little sleeve. And um, I got this bag from Spencer's just to kind of take it with me. I got a couple other games, but they're like just Japanese games. Um, Dragon Ball Z. I got the other two somewhere. Uh, Super Mario Kart and um, the sequel to My Own Secret Castle, which never came out here because uh, the first game was shitty. So I guess we kind of just assumed that the second one would be. Boy, were we <laughs> we were fucking wrong on that one. Um, this kind of sucks that we got kind of passed up on that one. But, uh, yeah. Um, back to the Superboy. It's good. It's really good. Again, I mean, the only real issue is start and select. Like, it was kind of odd the first time I played. Because, um, I mean, I kind of expected uh, something like that to kind of be like in the middle maybe but they needed space for the logo <clears throat> but yeah it's just a little minor thing um, aside from that it's pretty much perfect so yeah go get one now like right now just 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 buy it I command you <laughs>